I'm Eileen. I'm an undergraduate student at Oxford studying archaeology and anthropology. And I love coming to church on Sundays because I get to hear a variety of bold and diverse perspectives on important moral questions, on how I should live my life. And I get to do that in a beautiful setting with interesting people. And it forces me to think about what matters most and how I should be living my life in the best possible way. I'm Patsy and I'm something of a nomad as I've traveled a great deal for my work as a research consultant and software trainer. But I am resident in Oxford and I come here every Sunday to this chapel if I'm in Oxford. And I was attracted here because of the invitation outside which invites people of all faiths or no faiths because I come from a very diverse religious background. And because I've come from South Africa where we have a constitution which doesn't discriminate in terms of age, gender, sexual orientation, and many other aspects. It was important to me to find a inclusive and open-minded space to reflect on my own spirituality. And because I came back to the UK after 60 years, it could have been quite difficult to get integrated into the social environment. And I've really appreciated the spirit of friendship and the community spirit at this chapel, and also because it doesn't have a permanent minister at the moment, I really enjoy the very creative services, which often draw on many stories and poems and literature from different traditions. So we've had Alice Through the Looking Glass service, a Jabberwocky service, and a Wicca service. So I really appreciate that, as well as the very nice organ music, which certainly enhances one's reflection of one's spirituality. I'm Jamie. Uh, I'm currently studying for my A-levels. I come to this church on a Sunday morning um, because I did a quiz online to see which religion is best for me based on my beliefs, and it said that I'm 100% Unitarian. But it's also because I've always believed in something. I was raised as a Catholic, and I've been in Catholic schools and done... First Holy Communion and all sorts with Catholic Church. And then it got to a point, I got, well, as I grow older, I realised that I'm gay. And so I didn't, I felt like I didn't fit in in the Catholic Church and I didn't feel welcome in the church community. As soon as I did the test and I came here, I felt completely welcome straight away. It's just, and I felt peaceful. And I think that's important when you're coming to somewhere to worship or to pray or to meditate, to be peaceful and accepted by the people around you. Hello, my name is Steve. Uh, I've been an engineer all my life. And I came to Unitarianism from being an active Christian. In the Christian church, I found I was being asked to affirm things that I either doubted or didn't really believe at all. And whereas at one time the Christian doctrines and scriptures and liturgy was a sort of security blanket, that became a sort of a lead waistcoat, really. And in coming to worship with the Unitarians, I've been able to shed that. And I've found the freedom and diversity in Unitarian worship to be really refreshing. My name's Martin. For my working life, I was a family doctor in the countryside south of Oxford. I discovered Unitarianism about seven years ago. I've been a lifelong Anglican, but I drifted away from the Church of England in the 1990s. I was always conscious that there was something missing from my spiritual life and didn't feel comfortable about that absence. Seven years ago, I had a period of sabbatical leave for three months. I had a long to-do list, but one of those was to explore the spiritual aspects of my personality a bit more. So I went along to the local Quaker meeting. I attended two or three of those. I respected the people I met a great deal, but I couldn't really engage with an hour of silence once a week. So I thought a bit more and I explored the internet, and I found Unitarianism and the Chapel Society here in Oxford and it's been a very fulfilling experience to be a member of that community ever since. Unitarianism ex appeals to me in very many ways. As a doctor, one's training is scientific, 
and I find the emphasis on reasoning, rationality, appeals to that side of my nature. But working as a family doctor, you're only too aware of the ups and downs of life and the many challenges, the uncertainties that we all face. And there's, very, there's certainly an element of mystery uh, across the GP's desk. And I find that Unitarianism is a wonderful um, asset, really, to well, accords with that aspect of my working life. I also have a great love of literature and the spoken word and the diversity of our services, drawing from all faiths and traditions and cultures, again appeals to me for that reason. I'm Joan. Uh, I'm an editor of a wide variety of materials, uh, learning materials and uh, scientific materials. I come here because I meet uh, a wide variety of interesting people. We're all on different paths, uh, but we journey together and we cross-fertilise each other. And it's that diversity that I enjoy in Unitarianisms. We're all different and I can learn from other people. Um, and that's hugely enriching. We don't have a minister here at the moment, and so we have many different leaders who present different perspectives to us, and that is also very interesting and enriching for all of us. I'm Catherine. I was a writer and editor with Oxfam for most of my working life. Now I'm a grandmother, and I run a nature reserve in Oxford near my house. I've been a member of this chapel for over 20 years. I came on a search for a spiritual community, not a religious institution. I was brought up in a conventional church-going house, home, and loved the music and the sense of mystery that the church gave me as a child. But more and more I started to ask questions like, why are there no women priests? And how could a loving God require his own son to die on a cross for my sins? I'm responsible for my sins. And I gradually grew away from the church, but always needed a spiritual community, and I'd found this one by accident 20 years ago. It's, for me, it's wonderful because it allows you, it encourages you to doubt, to have doubts, to explore new ideas about religion. My motto at the moment is up there in the stained glass windows, these lovely pre-Raphaelite stained glass windows. It says, a large say dear, six times, a large say dear, which roughly translated means set God free. It's a quotation from Diderot, the 18th century French philosopher, set God free like open your mind to expand your concept of God. And that's what this chapel helps me to do, week by week. I come here to get inspiration from the scriptures of all the world faiths, from poetry and philosophy. No two services are the same, because we haven't got a minister of our own. So they're different from week to week. I often don't agree with the, with the preacher, but that's okay, because we can go and have lunch with the preacher and discuss the sermon and you're allowed to disagree. You're encouraged to disagree. I find that very liberating. I'm Robin and I'm a student here at Oxford studying sociology, politics and economics at Ruskin College. And I'm a Unitarian because it gives me the strength and the energy with its liberal theology to be able to perform at my best in, in you know, all fields of my life and it gives me that comfort and that willingness to go on and succeed. And I love coming to this chapel um, on a Sunday because it just gives me time out of that Oxford bubble of hard work to be able to just come here, relax, to engage, to put my spiritual side into gear so I can come out of this place able to do good in the world and to do right by myself. I'm John Hagen and I've lived in Oxford for 40 years. I have been uh, in previous professions uh, a regular soldier followed by 25 years in the catering trade and I now inhabit Central Library in Oxford as one of the facility managers. 
My interest in uh, Unitarianism became <coughs> very apparent when I first came to this chapel uh, on an invite from a colleague to view the chapel and the distinct area and the architecture. Um, I was also invited to one of the services and made very welcome. Prior to this, I had been a Methodist and attended rather on a er- rather erratic uh, number of occasions in recent years and hadn't really followed through uh, lots of visits. But uh, once I began to attend the Unitarian Church, I found that <clears throat> I was actually attending on a regular basis. I found a sense of warmth and companionship here, and it also helped um, fill the void Uh, and gave me, to some extent, an inner spiritual depth which I hadn't found in other churches. I'm happy to continue uh, as a member of the Unitarian Church, and also I feel um, very empowered to assist in their daily work throughout the community. David Osher's sermon this morning put me in mind of a Unitarian statement which I value very much. There is no God in the sky... God is in the heart of those who love the sky's blueness. That was a quotation from a Unitarian preacher called Powell Davis about 50 years ago, and it means a lot to me. There is no God in the sky. God is in the heart of those who love the sky's blueness.